Hi everyone, Brian here. I'm here more hands than head for a change, which makes it sound as though I'm decapitated, but I'm not. I'm actually here not because I intended to do a video today. I didn't. I thought that I wouldn't have time to do a video until later in the week when I've broken up for work. But in the post today was this, Tarot Revisioned, which is a Majors only deck, the first Majors only deck, in fact, that I um, have acquired. And I thought it would be interesting to do it as a, a bit of an unboxing. Um, this actually, I think, is a rather complex deck. And in fact, I'm going to just read you um, an excerpt from the website of the deck creator, Lee McCloskey, where he talks about um, the process of developing Tarot Revisioned. Uh, and in the website it says, In Tarot Revisioned, Lee J. McCloskey has created an entirely new and unique series of drawings representing the 22 archetypes of the major arcana of the tarot. A culmination of an 18-year creative process, this work reveals a depth and acuity of vision that is both original and profound. The text of the manuscript consists of com commentaries which examine traditional meanings and attributions connected with each tarot archetype, as well as introducing new and insightful material that lends a deeper significance to the tarot tradition. And what you'll see is that the drawings themselves are incredibly intricate. So if I just take these out, and there we are, that's the, the first one, um, the Magician, the Magus. Um, incredibly detailed drawings. I haven't got um, my camera properly set up yet with a wide-angled lens, so I'm going to have to show you the drawings in this slightly awkward way, but at least this way you can see from uh, top to bottom, or bottom to top, just how detailed these drawings are. Um, incredibly intricate, um, and lots and lots of symbolism in here. Uh, here we can see the yin-yang symbol, and also the, um, the sense of roots coming out of the magician's head. Some of the traditional symbols um, in the magician's staff there, um, and the the wings, the Hermes wings there as well, but incredibly detailed, beautiful work. Each card back has got a quote on it which illuminates the card, um, and this one we have, if the doors of perception were cleansed, everything would appear to man as it is, infinite. The Marriage of Heaven and Hell by William Blake. Um, and these cards, I should say, are not really traditional tarot uh, card size. They're a bit more like postcards uh, rather than tarot card sizes. So I'm not sure how easy it would be to use them as a deck of tarot cards. It would be quite difficult to shuffle them, for example. Um, but nonetheless, in terms of study and contemplation, they'd be absolutely perfect. Uh, there is a book that goes with this, and the book is on its way to me. So I'll be able to say more about these uh, when I get the book. Here we have the High Priestess. I'll let you get an image of the whole thing. And then let's start again from the bottom. We see more of those tree roots. The tree roots that were in the magician's head seem to have been carried forward into the root of this card. Um, lots of water imagery here. Symbols of the moon. Very appropriate, of course, for this card. And that's very beautiful, mysterious high priestess. And the veil here, rather than being behind her, um, is actually from her uh, lower part of her face downwards. Um, and we can see some of the symbolism of the um, Tree of Life at the top there. The Empress, a very important and special card for me. Um, starting with Stonehenge at the bottom, more roots, more roots being carried through uh, this particular card. Uh, very lovely image. I suspect there's a great deal of symbolism hidden in these cards, and also maybe not hidden, um, but I think they would reward considerable time spent studying. The roots seem to be a real theme here. There's the Emperor. Standing on the Aries part of the Wheel of the Zodiac. Very, very nice, intricate artwork. I must say I'm not a huge fan of, or haven't been a huge fan of black and white decks, um, but this is just lovely. 
a hierophant. That's really quite a almost disturbing image. Obviously a very um, hermetically influenced deck here. Uh, lots of imagery of temples, pillars and so on. The lovers. Perhaps a slightly simpler card than the previous ones we've seen, but intricate nonetheless. The chariot. Chariot is my um, birth card or my soul card. Um, derived from the tower originally and uh, then the chariot. And I love this chariot, that's marvellous. Again, for me it's really important that the chariot indicates a sense of stillness within motion and the ability to remain still um, and move forward at the same time as being uh, in a situation perhaps where intense forces are acting on one. And that's certainly the impression here with the raging sea and the charioteer in a, a boat rather than a chariot, but standing seemingly perfectly still. This is strength. So we've got the traditional lion, but this time not interacting with, with the woman in the way that, excuse my plaster by the way, an argument with a wine glass, um, not interacting with the woman in the way that we would normally see, but two lions, uh, two opposing forces here, and the woman apparently in a meditative state. And I'm not sure whether this many-headed cobra is a chair that she's sitting in or is in fact a many-headed cobra. If it's the... Um, if it's the latter, then, then, you know, this is indicating considerable strength and fortitude because she uh, seems fairly unfazed. And here we have the hermit, perhaps a slightly more traditional looking hermit. Um, two angels embracing at the bottom. The stag and the unicorn. Lovely. Very nice card. Uh, the cosmic egg at the top there. So there are some symbols in here that are uh, certainly reminiscent of other occult decks like the uh, Crowley deck, for example. Let's have a look at the Hermit. I want to be with those who know secret things or else alone. Book of Hours by Rainer Maria Rilke. Lovely coat. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. Let's see the intricate detail. I'm sorry that this is a rather awkward way of showing you these. Um, I will, I promise, get a better camera set up very soon. But I hope that you can see. Now, this is justice. If you go actually on the website that these cards. Um, are uh, detailed on, and I'll, I'll include a link below this video, then you can read an extract from the book which goes into great detail um, on the symbolism of the Justice cards, so that's well worth a look. And the book itself will contain information about all of the cards going into just as much detail. Here we have the Hanged Man, looking as appropriately serene as the Hanged Man I think should look in this card and more roots. Roots seem to be a theme. Um, very nice. The death card. Now that is stunning. Serpent. Quite a disturbing card. Very powerful. Very unusual. I love that. Very nice. And again, let's see um, what's on the back here. So obviously this is the Temperance card. Um, and there's a poem there. Uh, Joseph G. McCloskey, I assume, uh, maybe wrongly, but possibly a relative of the artist. A bias that should be like the long grass on the prairie. The winds blow and the grasses bow before them. But they do not bow toward the wind, but turn their backs and think. 
The past, the old, is examined and blows away. All the other grasses arise refreshed, but the dead tree that refused to bend before the winds of thought lies broken, never to rise again. That's very appropriate quote for the temperance card. Uh, and the devil. And the detail in here is just tremendous. I, I think this, this is a project that was years in the making and you can see why. Now that, at the very top there, I don't know if you can see, that looks almost like a, a hallway in a lodge of some sort. And there's the two pillars, of course. So again, very kind of hermetic, masonic imagery. Um, but quite accessible, I think. I mean, I'm not looking at these cards thinking, gosh, there's just so much imagery there, I can't possibly find my way into it. I actually find myself feeling invited into the cards and encouraged to learn more. Let me just speed things up just a little bit now. Um, and now this is the tower. And wow, the roots theme is very much in evidence here. Lovely moon card. Again, lots of water, angels. A rather dark moon there. Very nice. And the star. Just thoroughly intriguing images and really dimensional, a real sense of depth. Um, I mean, physical depth to these cards. They don't come across as flat images. They come across as very um, three-dimensional. Possibly four-dimensional. And there's the sun. Interesting take on the sun. A figure in a kind of solar cross pose. More snakes. Snakes also seem to appear a lot in these cards. Again, it's worth considering what quotes have been used. That's, that's the world. I celebrate myself and what I assume you shall assume. For every atom belonging to me as good belongs to you. Song of Myself by Walt Whitman. Um, world. Here's Judgment. Now that's interesting. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen a mushroom cloud on a tarot card before. Quite sobering. And what appears to be a figure being lifted up by an angel, perhaps the soul of humanity being lifted up by the angel. Um, and then the fool, and the fool, this is how the cards arrived obviously, the fool has been placed at the end Although they're un unnumbered, I think. Yes, yeah, they're unnumbered. Um, the fool has been placed at the end of the sequence of cards. Um, but being unnumbered, could could be placed at the beginning. Again, an unusual fool. No kind of jumping off a cliff here, exactly. Um, but interesting figures, again, the solar cross books, learning, the floor of the lodge perhaps. Lotus perhaps, grail. So some of the images are images we've seen in other tarot cards. Um, perhaps not the traditional look of the fool. So that's that's Tarot Revisioned um, and as I say I'll be back at some point with some details of the book which uh, hopefully should arrive fairly soon. Um, but in the meantime I hope you enjoyed that, that preview and uh, I think this is a deck that will reward considerable study and I'm going to very much look forward to doing that. See you all soon.